Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 29th. Just going to see what comes up. You have somebody here that's overwhelmed. I feel a very overwhelming energy. You know, too much. It's too busy. There's too much going on. It's like, uh, well, it's like the Ten of Wands. There's too many demands. There's just, just, this is too much. It's too much. It's running around like crazy. Overwhelmed. Uh, overworked. Too many responsibilities. Things are, it's just too busy. It's too much. Too much, too much, too much. Just too much. Page of, or Knight of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Overwhelmed. Worn down. With a Seven of Wands reversed. Can't do this. Too many irons in the fire. Too many things going on. Like I said, now the Knight of Cups reversed is not really focusing on a relationship. Not really focusing on... Uh, or not having the time by the looks of things for a relationship. Now, the Knight of Cups is in, in reverse. Could be somebody that comes to sweep you off your feet. You know, they, that is somebody that really isn't emotionally available or something. They don't really, they're not in love or something like that. They got other demands or there's no time for love or something like that. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is uncomfortable, uncomfortable at home, living beyond their means. Somebody may be living beyond their means. There's this, there's could be some false impressions with these two cards. Somebody's put giving off a false impression. There could be a setback. Ooh, Nine of Swords, extremely exhausted. Nine of Swords reversed, okay? We have extreme exhaustion here. Having a heart and probably not sleeping very good. Stressed out. Too much. Somebody has too much on their plate. Maybe they're trying to have a relationship. They're trying to work, work on their business. They have a bunch of yard work to do. It's like, damn. There's not enough time in the day. It's extremely stressed out. Oh my God, maybe they're losing money. This is, could be financial issues, right? We have somebody here that is highly overwhelmed with all the demands that they are being presented with. Extremely overwhelmed. This is just a bit much. Hmm. Could be a financial disaster here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh God, Page of Cups reversed. Could be an unrequited love situation. You know, underneath the page, the the Knight of Cups reversed. We could have somebody that came in to sweep somebody off their feet, and it's just not there. You know, they realize that the love just this isn't it. This is a bubble being burst. Somebody's bubble being burst. Emperor. Emperor is very strong, very dominant, very masculine. Somebody that uses their head, not their heart. We have us. And then the King of Pentacles reversed. Unstable, insecure, no financial success, or wastes money. Doesn't have any money. No stability. Losing money. Somebody is losing or has lost money or spent money, you know, the wrong way. Now this is a, the, the, the emperor is, um, takes charge, is very structured and organized. Somebody is... Really trying hard, seriously. The emperor tries really hard to keep structure. Having a very, and under a lot of social pressure. We have somebody here that's under a lot of social pressure and they have too many demands and it feels like they're sinking. 
could be very emotional, may not be able to master emotions very well. Now, there could be some insincerity here as well with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody's not being very insincere. I mean, they're not being very sincere. Now, this Nine of Swords reverse, extremely overwhelmed, exhausted. Maybe somebody knows that they know something. They know that this isn't stable. They know this person doesn't have anything to offer. The, you know, this is deep anguish, seriously, of some sort with the Nine of Swords reversed. Caution, giving somebody's giving deep thought to a relationship. Somebody may not have good intentions. This person, somebody could be dealing with an individual who is trying to gain some sort of structure in their life. And they may be presenting themselves to be, you know, all that, all love. And it's all about financial gain of some sort. Hmm. Devil reversed. Breaking free. Very materialistic. The devil is very materialistic. Breaking free of things. Suffering. Despair. Hmm. Not working together, lack of teamwork, lack of respect. Not on. We have two people here that aren't on the same page. They're not, and they're they're they brought brought together by the wrong reasons, by the looks of things. I think we have an individual that was trying to gain some sort of structure or organization in their lives, and there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of lot a lot of stress. They're working with somebody else who isn't really putting in, isn't really giving to the situation. Six of Cups. Devil reverse. We have an individual with that King of Pentacles reverse that is spending. Makes four Poor, poor financial decisions. Oh, a ton of swords here. Is definitely uh, extremely materialistic, extremely driven by social pressure. This person is losing money. They're losing money. They're losing business or. They're having financial loss. They're hard to deal with. They're hard to work with. They're under a lot of stress. They're under a lot of stress. We have individuals under a lot of stress. Stress kills, by the way. We could even have a business that isn't surviving. You know, or a relationship that isn't surviving. We could. Okay. This could be, you know... <coughs> The end of uh, being tied to something that uh, was built on uh, an insincere gesture. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. I think it's going to be a very emotional time. Somebody is going to be a, having a hard time mastering their emotion because emotions because they are is experiencing a lot of social pressure, stress, financial burdens, you know, to stay afloat. And I don't think it's happening very easy. I think this is a very stressful situation. Somebody is basically going under. They're going under. 
and um, they're in this, and I feel like this does have to do with um, karma. I do. I feel like this has to do with karma. I don't even need a karmic card to say to say that or to see whatever. I feel like it has to do with it with a um, poor decision that was made in the past, and now it's coming back around. Um, because of the six of cups next to the devil. I think it has to do with a, you know, a poor decision that is coming back around from the past. So somebody is now losing, they're losing their financial status or their financial stability because of their, uh, behavior in the past, their behavior in the past. Okay. For lack of the right words. Anyhow, um, this is, this is, uh, something really bad happening. Okay. Something really bad come happening. There's also, there's also, uh, something from the dead that we could be coming back because this could be something coming back from the dead. And so I don't know, I'll get some advice. Some people don't, something doesn't come back from the dead. It's a figure of speech. You know, something coming back or something's coming back around. Okay, something is coming back around. This is a decision that is being made. Somebody is, this could be a business owner, a boss, somebody is in a high position, a manager, somebody that is very um, prominent or dominant that is coming back around. Okay, this person um, is coming back around. They may, they, uh, maybe they lost something. Maybe they, they, uh, didn't put in effort. They didn't put in effort before. Maybe they had some addictions that got in the way of their decision making. I mean, this is addictions. Not putting in effort. I feel like we have a situation that is, is nearly, it, it was nearly over, but it's not over. It's not over. This, this, this individual is making a decision to take action. Okay. He's going to be taking action. He probably gave up. Somebody gave up. They gave up. They gave up on a relationship. They gave up. And they may have, maybe they gave up because they were unstable, they were insecure, they had some sort of addictions, or they were tied to something else, or they were under a lot of pressure, or something. Somebody gave up, but I feel like now they're coming back around. I know we've, we've said this over and over and over again, haven't we? Now, this is making a decision. There's some sort of memories here. This person is remembering the connection. They're remembering the bond. And it may have even been a sexual connection. This is remembering the connection. So we have somebody here that is remembering a connection. And they've been thinking about it a lot at night and really have stress, really stressed over a loss or something. I feel like if they're stressed over a loss. And perhaps they're feeling defeated with that seven of wands reverse. They're feeling defeated and now they're ready because this, the emperor takes action. He is given to take action. He's ready to fight, but this is didn't fight. Now he's ready to fight. This guy's battle ready. He's ready to fight for something. So, hmm. Hierophant. Now, this is the highest authority, the Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Aries, could be dealing with the Taurus, could be dealing with the Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, there's a higher power involved. This is about commitment, it's about faith, it's about believing. This guy is lazy. He is lazy. May only be interested. Was only maybe he was only interested in sex and drugs or whatever. But now 
because this is commitment. Now he's ready for a commitment. This is breaking free. Something may have nearly died. A you know something may have nearly may have nearly died. The opportunity may have nearly died. But this is uh, you know that's like a near death experience. I think we have an individual that is about to uh, fight for a commitment or fight for somebody that they gave up on. It's like they just didn't put in effort. Hmm. Yeah, this is investment. They've been thinking about it a lot. They have. Thinking, is it worth it? Do I have enough to offer? What should I do? Do I want to stay here? Do I want to leave? So we're talking about the 29th. I think it's, it, we have an individual that has been hiding their feelings. They haven't been speaking their feelings. They haven't been expressing their feelings. They were acting very rigid. They probably weren't looking for a commitment. But they've been having a hard time sleeping and they think about it all the time. All the time. Something may have ended in disaster and now they want to, it feels like they want, you know, to come back. They want to rekindle or they want to start over. That's what I feel like this is. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Very uncomfortable. We have somebody here that is very uncomfortable at home. This could also be a collapse of an empire. Seriously. It could be a collapse of an empire. That will certainly change a person now, won't it? Somebody may have learned something. Or they may have gotten some advice from an elder. Time to take action. So we definitely have somebody here that is taking action. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody that is very skilled that is about to take charge. This person is has basically um, regained focus, or they're regaining focus, and they're gonna take charge with the emperor and the magician. We have we have somebody here that's about to take charge of a situation. They are. Same with the devil reverse. So if somebody is about to take charge and go after something that they believe that they've been, obviously their intuition or their gut or an elder or somebody has told them that maybe this is a soulmate. So it's not over. Good luck.